a magical day to you, and welcome to your weekly oracle card reading for the week of Monday, May 28th through to Monday, June the 4th. And we're filming today on Saturday. It's a beautiful day. And as some of you know, my name is Julie Robinson. I'm an angel intuitive, medium, and teacher in the fields of self-development, spiritual, and psychic growth. And we're working with the beautiful Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue. And this is the Archangel Michael Oracle deck. So all the cards, as you can see here, are Archangel Michael. He's a powerful healing angel whose name means he who is like God. And his messages very often cut the crap. So know that these messages are going to support you to be real and be honest with yourself. So let's get into it. Starting with the top of the deck, I pulled the card shield yourself. Woo! Shield yourself. First of all, what does that mean? It means calling Archangel Michael in right now and saying, thank you, Michael, that you're shielding me. Now, here's the way he could shield you with a purple bubble of light. Notice this is this cobalt blue purple color. That's the color of his energy, right? He's not Asian or white or black. His color is purple to my spiritual sight. That's the color of his energy. Some say that my energy, when they see it, is pink and purple, which is why those are my website colors. If you go to juliespiritualhealer.com and visit me there, that's, that's my color. And we all have a color, right? You have a color. Archangel Michael's color is purple. So when you ask him to shield you in a bubble or a pyramid of that cobalt blue light, know that that invokes his healing protection. Know that this is very important at the beginning of the week. Why? He says because you're going to be in harsh situations where you're going to need to do that. Obviously, those of you who watch these videos, many of you are sensitive yourselves and light workers and intuitives, and you feel and pick up other people's energy all the time, he says. So know that he's saying be extra careful at the beginning of the week to shield. And there's a caution, really a feeling of caution as we move into that May 28th week. Okay, which happens to be my birthday. All right, let's go to this. I think I've already said that, but let's have a little review, shall we? Moving into the middle of the week, Archangel Michael supporting you to have confidence. So this is believing in yourself and trusting in yourself that you have what it takes, that you are equipped with what it is that you need by the Almighty God. Okay, the message says, and this is a suggested prayer, Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. So implying that if you don't have enough, you can call on Archangel Michael to lend you some. It says, help me realize that I am one with all that is divine wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. So this says to me that you don't know that. You don't know that you are one with the divine. You don't know. You think you're separate. You think the divine is here and you are over here. But this card says, no, you're one. You're connected. You're, you're infinite. You're blessed. You're abundant. You're strong. You're loving. And you're creative and you're healthy. All the things that God and the angels are, you are. So have confidence in yourself, have confidence in that, that you've been made in the image and likeness of God, and all will turn out well. They want me to talk about the card on the bottom of the deck. It says, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. This is true. You possess qualities of intuition, insight, and clairvoyance at any given moment that you choose to align with it. Notice I say align, meaning it's a choice. You could choose to tune into your spiritual subtle body any given moment. You just take a breath, take your focus into your inner body, maybe into your inner hands. Okay, taking the focus out of thinking and just see what you feel, see what you notice. And if you do that continuously throughout the day, know that you will receive guidance and please follow that guidance, okay? You are receiving accurate messages. So for example, if you get a message, you know, when you're watching it like, oh, eat a banana or go to the park or, you know, go play with so-and-so or go call um, someone, know that the angels are going to guide you. It's going to be short messages. They're to the point, like call this person, eat a banana, pick up your phone. Don't pick up your phone. <laughs> short, short messages, yeah? Okay? Pay attention to those this week. That's your exclamation point. This card on the dot, the bottom of the deck, that's your exclamation point. All right. Moving into the end of the week, believe and trust. Know that Archangel Michael wants you to have faith. Sometimes we're praying for a situation to work out, 
but we don't believe that it's going to come true. We doubt, we have fear, and we think, oh, it, it's never going to work out for me, or oh, you know, my prayers aren't being answered. No, know that with this card, Archangel Michael saying, believe and trust. Trust that God knows about your situation because he does. He said the number of your days he will fulfill, which means that your days are numbered, which means that everything's happening as it's supposed to be, which means he knows the beginning from the beginning to the end. There's nothing that happens without God's knowledge. And Archangel Michael's asking you to trust that in that and also trust that there are solutions to your problems right now. So all the problems that you're having right now, trust and believe. Get in touch with a feeling of love within you. Get in touch and go back to a place, a place of peace. And he's saying if you're struggling with that, to go into a place of stillness. Know that this message is very, very important for you this week. Okay? The card says, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. So know that if you're struggling still with fear after this message, to call on Archangel Michael to clear you of that fear, right? And fill you with strength, courage, and confidence. So we've seen a theme here today. We've seen strength come up again earlier at the beginning of the week. And that courage and that confidence, that was the card at the middle of the week, was to have confidence. So that's not a weak faith. That's not a like, so, so, well, I kind of believe it's going to work out. No, he's saying have confidence. That yes, it will work out. So that can be strange to do sometimes when we may not see a way of things working out. But we have to trust that God and the angels already have a way. All right. So, but you need to act your faith. You need to show your faith by being confident. And that is what activates God's power to do wonderful things in your life. When you believe, all things are possible. That's what Jesus said. So beautiful, beautiful, holy messages for this week and healing messages this week. Believe and trust. I love that. The other thing I want to point out on this card is, you know, this is a forest. You're in the forest right now, and there's this beautiful path to the river, the water that you want to get to. Know that it's a process. And step by step, as you have faith, so shall be done unto you. Let's talk about announcements that are coming up this summer. I will be in Edmonton. Yes, at the uh, Best Western South. And I will be there at 7 p.m. on Friday, August the 24th to do a night with spirit. So again, starting at 7 p.m., tickets are on sale now at Eventbrite. This is a one, eventbrite.com. It's a wonderful event. We laugh. We have a good time. We talk to spirit. We talk to your angels. We give you messages. We talk to your deceased loved ones. What am I saying? You will really benefit to join us at this event if you feel like getting messages from your deceased loved ones are important to you and you want to raise your consciousness and get the healing that you need from messages from your angels. Okay, September at the Cardell Theater. I am going to be live on uh, Saturday, September 22nd, again at 7 p.m. I like to be on the on the stage at 7 p.m. That's fun for me. I like the number seven. It's, it's very lucky for me. And I hope that you'll join me there, too. I'm going to be doing live angel readings to audience members. I'm so, so excited. I'm going to start with the angels that are around you and then move into your deceased loved ones. So anybody can get a reading at any time. So excited. Every Friday we have the Angel Heart Talk Show and uh, next Friday is no exception. I'm going to be talking to you healers out there um, and how to support you in your healing career and talk about how to send prayers for yourself and others. So I'm really excited. So you can join me on Blog Talk Radio uh, for, on the Angel Heart Talk Show every Friday at 3.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And of course... To support you, I offer private angel readings at Joy and Vitality weekdays. So you could text me, call me to book, or email me at my website at juliespiritualhealer.com. And of course, you can look at my events page to book any of my events and buy tickets. So I'm looking forward to seeing you soon at some of my upcoming events. And may God bless each and every one of you. Oh, they're telling me to let you know that I do offer courses. Group uh, courses are more active in the fall than in the summer. So that, in the summer, I do more group readings, which, by the way, you can um, 
book now. There's only a few spots left, but I can put you on a waiting list. But Angel, going back to Angel classes, I teach the Angel Basics Workshop Series. So if you'd like to learn more about how to work with your angels for healing protection, for a healing career, or just for yourself and, you know, your friends and others, um, please know they do teach those classes one-on-one. -on -one. So I'll be seeing you soon. Mwah. Love you lots. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Bye.